There are people who say, well, that's a spiritual thing, but I want to be practical. We have this war on terrorism or we have these other problems. So let us spend our efforts, our money, our time on fighting these other things. There are even people who want to fight against abortion, and certainly I agree with them. But they forget that unless the Lord build the house, they labor in vain who build it. Psalm 126. Unless the Lord guard the city, in vain does the guard keep vigil. So by all means, we need to do our own good works. But remember that our works will not last unless the message of Fatima, that is the consecration of Russia, is finally implemented. And so not all of us have time only to do the message of Fatima, but all of us can at least obey the message in our own lives, and all of us can do something to promote knowledge of it and to promote the obedience to it. So whether it is the problems of justice in this or that part of the world, whether it is a question of, of um, fighting against abortion, whether it is um, overcoming the bad will of various people, Fatima, not because I am the bearer of this message, but because Fatima is the answer to all of them. We don't need more arms to kill more people before other people kill us. We don't need more bombs. We don't need more wars in Afghanistan, Iraq, India, Pakistan, wherever there is threat of violence in the Middle East, in the Holy Land. The answer to all these problems is to work towards the conversion of hearts in the reign of Christ. There is no other real solution and we have the assurance not only of Our Lady of Fatima but the Gospels themselves. Fatima should be central to our lives. Each of us can do a lot. The devil has his way of confusing people and putting obstacles in their mind. As Sister Lucy tells us, there is diabolical disorientation, especially in the church, especially with those who are in positions of authority. The Blessed Virgin would like us to respond to her in a personal way. Our Lady is very sad because no one pays attention to her message. At least each of us can say to the Blessed Virgin, I will no longer make you sad by not paying attention I will no longer make you sad by not doing anything. I will no longer make you sad by not taking into account your message, which you gave us with so much love, with so much interest in our own welfare. The Blessed Virgin Mary is not really seeking anything for herself. Although Jesus, her son, wants her to be honored, he wants her to be obeyed for the honor of God, and for the salvation of souls, and for the peace in the world. It's really up to us to make that personal promise to Our Lady. We could say something like this. Blessed Virgin Mary, you really know that I am useless, that I can't do very much, I don't have very much influence, but I'll do whatever you can. I'll do whatever part you give me. I will accept whatever difficulties there are, whatever problems there are in transmitting your message at Fatima and in living this message myself. She's asking all of us to give us our our hearts, our intelligence, our hearts to love her and to commit ourselves to her and her message, our intelligence to try to understand what it is she wants 
and our wills to do the best we can. She knows that our imperfections and our faults better than we do, but she still wants us to try to do our part. I have heard and experienced many rejections of her urgent message. There's always some excuse by someone to not obey, to not listen. But whenever you examine them thoroughly, you find that there is no real objection. It's more a question of the will and of the heart. Our Lady wants us to say something like this, O oh, Lady of Fatima, I believe in you. You gave us this message. You worked the miracle of the Son so that we would believe, so we would obey. You worked the conversion of tens of thousands of people. You have cured thousands more. You gave us a sign to tell us that this message comes from God, that this message is true. I will believe it and I will do my part. Whether it's a little bit that I do or whether it's a lot, I will do all I can. What I can do is your choice, but I will do everything I can. I will do what you expect me to do. I, as a priest, or I, as a bishop, will do my part. I will talk to my brother priests. I will talk to my brother bishops. I will explain it to them. If I encounter questions or objections that I cannot answer, I will contact the Fatima Center to hear their researched replies. I will do whatever it takes to forward your message. We must recall, for example, in the story of Fatima, on May 13th, there were only three people, Lucy, Jacinta, and Francesco. In June, there were 50 people. In July, there were 5,000. Those 50 people told their friends and neighbors, and 5,000 people came. Those 5,000 people in July told their friends and neighbors, and in August, there were 15,000 people. Remember, this is despite the fact that the newspapers were making fun of them, that the civil authorities were putting the ch children in jail, and that the clergy were not encouraging the people because they were afraid of persecution from the government. Those 15,000 people told their friends and neighbors, and in September there were 30,000 people. And those 30,000 told their friends, and there were 70,000 people there, despite the heavy rain, despite the civil authorities trying to stop them, and so forth. Shortly after that, about three years or four years later, you had the chapel being blown up by the Masons. You had the army pulled out, to prevent people from coming to the Kova. But the people kept it in their hearts and they told their friends and neighbors. I believe that since many of the means of social communication, that many of the central offices, even of the church, as Lucy refers to it, she says, do not wait for the call to penance to come from Rome on the part of the Holy Father. Do not wait for the call to penance to come from the Chancery Office on the part of your bishops. Do not wait for the call to penance to come from the religious orders. Obviously, all these central control points are somewhat less effective in our time. Lucy explains it as follows. Our Lord has used these means in the past and people have not paid attention. That is why it's up to each one of us to reform ourselves and to pass the message on to help others reform themselves spiritually. <laughs>